I'm starting this series of videos with what was actually filmed last, Gary Green's time here in New York. After my fun in Georgia, we went to Maryland, picking up the century at Old Time World, and then headed back to the Thousand Islands. I don't have to talk Gary into coming here. He loves it. My earliest memory is riding in my grandfather's boat, arm over the side, hand in the spray. I've spent much of the rest of my life chasing this feeling. All of that has led to this, the wooden boat experience. The number one priority Gary had while he was here was the wiring of unbeknownst. Plus some troubleshooting, of course that only he seems to be able to do. We worked on a plan and Gary began putting the plan into action while I got busy doing what I should have done weeks ago. You can see here that Gary is creating the loom by stretching out all the wires on the wall and getting the proper length. Can I make a suggestion without you getting upset with me? Maybe. You're on camera, so okay. careful. What do you want to do, Gary? Uh, go to neutral. Right, That's neutral. Forward. Perfect. That's neutral right there. Yep. Nice. Got a little cotter pin for this thing so I can put it together. What's wrong, Gary? I gotta take the carburetor off to get the jets out. Because somebody built this a little bit too soon. I don't know who you are. Boy, I'll tell you what, you're the only subscriber that would say that. <laughs> that I built it too soon. That I built it too soon. Everybody else would say, what the heck took you so long? Well, good for them. <laughs> You know, it's pretty, this this whole uh, deck, but it's a pain in the neck. We could have just taken the motor cover off and just been sitting right there, huh? Yeah. All right. Next time, maybe. Maybe on the you-know-what that's sitting outside on the trailer. Yep. Because nobody knows yet. But they will by the time they watch this, but... Oh, the mystery boat? Yeah, the mystery oh. boat. Or the Napa bucket we got yesterday, remember? It's just some various bits and bobs.
You guys may remember the mess of wire that was on the side of this engine. Well, it's gone. Gary has shortened it down to a very reasonable amount. There's a pile of it. There's some of it right there. So we gotta run more wires. Yeah. Make that block. Yeah. All this is going behind here. Yep. We're gonna put, uh, what was going here? Something was going right here. Well, we're putting the ignition switch down there. Ignition switch down there, the starter's well, over the there. The ignition switch is up there and the starter's go down. That gets the horn button. Horn button, okay, the horn button goes there. I gotta put a couple of blocks. I gotta put a block in here and the bottom of this isn't, I gotta put a couple of screws in there. And um, then we got to hook up the battery switch. Okay, now we'll get this out of here and drop that trailer back down on the wheels. Gary, you're in charge of making sure I don't screw up. Oh, well, I got the wrong guy for that job.
What you screwing up, Gary? Hey, that light's on. Yeah, it is. Isn't that weird? Don't over tighten those for sure. Yes, sir. So I don't know if you guys remember, but there are vents on the front of this boat, but this boat didn't originally come with them because this is a vented bow light. And there's a whole fairly large hole that vents the bow area. It's pretty cool. Go ahead, Gary. What, you want lights? How about that? Nice. Do it again. It's a little bright in here, but you can see there's lights and as usual, Gary in the background is fuzzy. I'll pull out in a second, Gary. There's some open metal on that dock, so watch out. Right where you're heading, below you. Water coming in. choke it down a little bit so the problem is we have too much pitch in the prop yeah. so and it's basically to trying to you don't have enough fuel to feed it so if you just backfire the mirror again you're going to do a backfire again so sort of like if you were to take out an old truck and you tried to start in fourth gear yeah basically what's happening right yep. so we've got to get a lower pitch prop you okay Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. And everything works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it, it's just so, everything's exaggerated because of that pitch problem. You know, you think, 
oh, this, this shifter and this throttle is a problem, but if you slowed it down, it wouldn't be a problem. It's just the fact that it, oh, funky. I, I, when those ceilings go all the way back in there, uh -huh. it's going to look sweet. Yeah. And when this is finished uh -huh. bright, yeah, yeah. Looks sweet. for a little while, these seats are just going to be painted until I get the upholstery done. But pretty happy. If you've watched this far into the video, well, all I can say is thanks. These last six months have really shed light on the fact that I'm only one person and getting as much done as I can. Stick with me as I juggle all of the things I'm interested in and do my best to get videos out showing what those things are while still holding on to my sanity. I'll see you next time on the Wooden Boat Experience.